All right, here are my two absolute favorite ways to make bacon. The first one is Parmesan bacon knots, and the second is the twisty bacon. So the thing I love about them both is that you can make a lot of bacon on one pan and the cleanup is super easy. And of course, the bacon is delicious. And I mean delicious. There's something about the texture of bacon that changes from the regular standard strips into the knots and also the twisty bacon. And I'm not sure what it is about it, but absolutely, I think they're gonna be your favorites too. I decided to do another bacon recipe since the twisty bacon was so popular and um, I found out about another uh, bacon recipe called bacon knots. So I'm going to demonstrate that here and you can sort of improvise it to your taste but basically you're taking the bacon and you are knotting it once, pulling it through knotting it twice, pull it through, and place it down on the hook. Again, I'm going to use this grid that I put on the foil line pan. And I'll show you another. Again, just, so just like you're tying a bow tie except just double knotting it and place it down. And I'll give you a close-up view. Again, for doing the knot. I believe originally comes from a website called delish.com and I alter a lot of recipes just to my own liking and just like what I show you here alter it to your own liking um, the recipe originally calls for red pepper flakes and garlic powder and I am just gonna use um, just a little bit of onion powder um, after we bake it the first time we're gonna sprinkle a little uh, Parmesan cheese on it but I'm just going to add a little bit of onion powder. It's going to go into the oven for 12 minutes at 425. All right, so the 12 minutes are up. I'm going to pull out the knots. And at this point, what we do is we just add some grated Parmesan cheese. And then this is just going to go right back in the oven for another eight minutes. All right, and right back in the oven. And we'll set the timer for eight minutes. So the bacon knots are ready. I will pull them out. And they look delicious. Just gonna plate them up. Really good. 
And again, like I said, you can adjust it to whatever spices you like or just do them plain. Um, I think the Parmesan adds a lot to them, but. Really good. And like twisty bacon, the entire package fits on one tray. I could have even fit probably a package and a half or close to two packages if I just crowded them together, but it's an easy, clean, neat way to make bacon. All right guys, I am a little stir crazy, um, waiting for my crock pot to cook up that bunch of clean out my freezer meat. So I decided I'm gonna make some beef bacon. Uh, I found this at the store and decided to try it. And I'm gonna show you the twisty bacon method. I know a bunch of you already have your favorite way of making bacon and probably already know this twisty bacon method, but um, I just decided I'd show it here just in case there's one or two of you out there that might not know this cool trick. So um, I just use a, a grid a pan that I put foil on and stick the grid right on there and then I'll twist the bacon up and show you. So I know there's gonna be a bunch of people who ask, so I'm going to read the ingredients off of this package. Beef, water, salt, and sodium nitrate. I'm not worried about the nitrates. Um, this is Waltney brand. I don't remember where I got it. Could be Walmart for all I know. But um, looks just like pork bacon and we're gonna cook it up. All right, so I'm gonna show you exactly how I do this by demonstrating piece. So I take the bacon, I just lay it out, and I just reverse twist. And when you do it this way, you can get a lot more bacon on a sheet. That's one benefit. And the other benefit is that I just really like the texture of eating twisty bacon. So, um, I, you can either do even do a double piece so you get extra thick. Um, obviously, you want to just pretty much do them all double or all single so they're cooking at the same time, but I don't really care. So I just threw a double piece in there because two were stuck together and that one might be a little chewier than the rest. So here so. is the twisted beef bacon ready to go into the oven. That's the entire package that fit on there. All right, I've had these in for 17 minutes, so we're gonna take them out. And that's about the right amount of doneness. So that was 450 degrees. I set my oven on the convection roast setting for these, and um, the beef bacon cooks the same as the pork bacon, and 17 minutes, 450 degrees, comes out perfect for me every time. Neat and clean, neat, easy, clean up, pulling the foil off that's got all the fat accumulated. Rinse off the grid or stick it in the dishwasher and you're done. All right, I cannot wait for you to make those bacon recipes and leave a comment for me, let me know what you think because I really think they're gonna become your favorites too. And if you wouldn't mind, Hit the subscribe button and you'll be sure to be notified when my next YouTube video comes out.